Hello, I'm State Representative Justin Simmons, and welcome to my legislative report. Today, we are at R.T. Street Rods in Coopersburg, and I'm with the owner, Ann Mitt. Hi, Ann, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Good, good. And what is it you do here in your business? We buy and sell street rods, classic cars, and antique cars. Do you buy your cars to refurbish, to sell, or do people bring in their cars to get restored or modified? No, we don't do any restoration here, um, no rebuilding. Uh, it's everything is bu uh, we buy and sell. And we also sell retail parts. Uh, you can, we can sell you everything from a, a body and a chassis and air conditioning and so forth to build your own car, as well as the ones we have here in the showroom. Do you prefer uh, older or newer cars? No, basically what we prefer is pre-1948 cars. That is the actual definition of a street rod. But we do sometimes have 57 Chevys, and right now we have a 50 old, so we do mix it up a little bit. How did you end up right here in Coopersburg? Well, that was easy. I was, I've lived in Center Valley since I'm about five years old, and I went to Southern Lehigh, and uh, my husband, when I met him, he had a speed shop in New Jersey. And when we bought a house in Center Valley, we just figured, well, we should have a store here. So here we are, 43 years later, uh, in the same location. Now, I understand this is a family-run business. What are some of the pros and cons of, of having a family-run business? Well, the pros is obviously you can handle things a little bit better. You don't have to deal with people, so to speak, but the, con, uh, the cons are basically the, you don't own the business, it owns you. Uh, you're on call all the time, so you're it. <laughs> Do you go to any shows or have you won any awards? Oh, we go to shows. Uh, we've been to shows from Maine to Florida. We've been to Tennessee several times. We've gone to Ohio. Uh, New England Summer Nationals we go to for about 25 years. So yeah, we've done a lot of shows. Uh, awards we don't really do we go because because we go as a vendor and mo mostly to showcase our cars so we don't really look for awards. Now I understand this is a uh, PennDOT notary license location. Can you tell our viewers what exactly that means and some of the services that you provide? Okay, um, you, you apply to be a notary from the Department of State and there's a process you go through a background check and such and uh, this is just very complimentary before I was the notary we used to have to take um, our car sales to Quakertown or Allentown to complete transactions. So um, it's just a matter of keeping up with your, your commission every four years. What's the process to get a uh, PennDOT notary license? Department of State. Okay. Yep, and then you have to be sanctioned by the state senator and, like I said, do a background check, uh, a few other little things, pay your fees. <laughs> Are your uh, supplies and parts made in the USA or does it depend on the make and model of the car? Well, unfortunately, I like to say they were all made in the USA, but today it's getting less and less. Even these old car parts are made overseas. It's kind of like mind boggling, but that's the way it is. Which state agencies do your business tend to deal with? Well, we normally deal with PennDOT, obviously, and the Department of Revenue for taxes. Um, that's really about it. Do you have any recommendations for these state agencies that could maybe make um, make business a little easier for you? Well, the way it is right now, we're a small business, so they really don't, you know, you, you just do what you have to do, and there's really don't present a problem, I don't think. What is the biggest challenge for you in owning a business like this? Uh, the biggest challenge would be taxes, taxes, insurance, <laughs> and probably the unfairness of the internet tax because that really affected our parts business because people can buy things on the internet and not pay tax. Whereas you come in here, because we're brick and mortar, you have to pay sales tax. Well, uh, it's interesting you bring that up because we um, introduced a, res a resolution I have to for the Marketplace Fairness Act, which I support, which helps remedy that situation. Mm -hmm. So our you know, mom and pop main street businesses are not at a significant disadvantage. Right, so we that would definitely help. I'm glad to hear that, that's great. <laughs> Do you have a favorite car that passed uh, through the, these, these uh, location? Well, uh, quite a few years ago, we had a Ford 1932B400, which is a very, very rare car. We bought it in New Hampshire and sold it to a customer in California. And it was very special because there's only about 20 of them left in the country, so. Wow. 
yeah, that was nice. And is there anything else you'd like to add today? No, I don't think so. I, we appreciate you being here. Sure. We appreciate the visit and uh, like the, the local exposure because I think it's great to capitalize on local businesses. Absolutely. Thank you for being with us today, Anne. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. And thank you for joining us today. I'm State Representative Justin Simmons, and this has been my legislative report. I hope you join us again next time.